Hey y'all. Last night we got down to 22 degrees Fahrenheit. And I woke up about 1 o'clock in the morning and I didn't set an alarm, but I did plan on providing a little bit of supplemental heat just in case the weather did get as cold as the weatherman said. And um, so what you see here is my old trampoline tarp and this is two layers of plastic and when it gets down to near you know 32 33 I don't you know I don't provide any additional heat and being in zone 8a that's usually not an issue but four times this season we have gotten down to the low 20s this type of design is not a solution for those who live in colder regions where you consistently uh, have colder daytime temperatures and then really, really frigid um, temperatures overnight. In zone 8A, I typically have temperatures in the 50s, sometimes the 40s, sometimes the 30s during the day, and I don't get to you know the low 20s that often but last night we did so once the temperatures warm up I'm going to take the plastic off and take a look and share with you how my plants fared this is the fourth night this season that we've had temperatures this low alrighty talk to you soon Okay, I'm very happy to see that there is no damage to the plants. This was the coldest night yet, and I provided minimal supplemental heat. What I do, and I had mentioned this before in another video, is I just get a, um, a little hand blow dryer, and I have an extension cord, and I run that intermittently. Um, for example, tonight it's going to get down to, I believe, 29 so I may not run it at all. The only reason I ran it last night is because the forecaster was saying that we were going to get down to the low 20s, which we did. We got down to 22 degrees. The empty containers uh, you see in here, these are just containers that had uh, determinate tomatoes that I have yet to, um, you know, to discard. I got to rework all of that soil, make sure there's no issues with it and see some more cleanup work back there uh, and these here are some indeterminate tomatoes I just wanted to see what I could overwinter and that's some garlic it, there's no reason for it to be in there it's just there but um, everything looks good so if you are in a more temperate zone and you want to try something like this you know I just use the two sheets of plastic and make sure that it does not touch uh, any part of the vegetation and because that freeze thaw cycle will damage your plants and I have that tarp which that probably isn't necessary but with the low temperatures that we've been having it probably really helped out a lot and that is it I'm gonna leave a link to the mini greenhouse video and I think that's about it have a great day everybody and I hope that more moderate temperatures are heading your way bye